boys and girls and welcome back to another weekly video i am so excited to see you guys this week all right so we are in the same month of october and our key question of the month is who made you to do big things and can you remind me who made you to do big things yes god made you to do big things all right and so today we're talking about how god made us to help others all right and so i am going to act out some ways that we can help people and i want you to watch me and see what am i doing and tell me what do you think i'm doing i'm not going to say anything and i want you to watch what i do okay all right here we go What do you think I'm doing? I am sweeping. Yes, I'm sweeping the floor. Maybe that is something you can do at home to help your mom or dad or your grandmother. All right, good job guys. All right, let's see. All right, I have another one. What do you think I'm doing now? What am I doing? I'm wiping and cleaning the table. Good job, guys. That is another thing that we can do to, to help out at home or to help out in someone else's house or help out in a kitchen. You can just wipe the table or a counter. Good job. Hmm. What is another thing that we can do? I got one. What does it look like I'm doing? This one might be a little bit harder. I'm folding clothes. I'm helping to fold clothes. Good job, everybody. All right, let's think. Let's do one more thing. What can we do to help others? You ready? Good. What do you think I just did. I cleaned my toys. Or you can just be cleaning things in your room and just putting it away. But yes, I was helping picking up and cleaning up the things in, in the room. Good job, guys. I'm so proud of you. And just remember, God made us to help others. In our Bible story today, you're going to hear about how David helps this might be a hard word, to, a hard name to say, but you're going to hear how David helps Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. All right, guys. So I'm so glad that you guys came and you watched this video and you're here with me and learning more about how to help others. And I will see you guys next week for Halloween. Bye.
loving and forgiving Yeah, cause putting others first is always better I'll be a super duper kid forever and ever and ever Helper and help my grandma. She does everything for us. Like folding laundry so we have clean clothes. I'm pretty sure the dryer is eating all the socks. Grandma even fixed my super kids cape when I tore it flying. Grandma does so much for all of us. That's why I did some super thinking and decided I'm going to help her make dinner. Can you guess what I'm going to make? I have bread, mayonnaise, ham, cheese, and lettuce. If you know what I'm going to make, shout it out on the count of three. One, two, three. That's right! Sandwiches! You guys are super thinkers too! Wow, this is gonna be a lot of work. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy! Who? Who? Cooking up some ham and cheese, are you? Hey, Ollie! I wanna help my grandma make dinner, but it's gonna take forever. Helping others is great. It's true. God made you to be a helper. Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Follow Who? me through. Don't worry, Stormy Jane. Goldie should be back from vacation any minute. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Goldie's back! <laughs> oh, hey friends! I'm Carrie the dog walker and today is a very happy day because Stormy Jane's best friend Goldie just came back from vacation. She's been gone a whole week and Stormy has really missed her. Which reminds me of a story from the Bible about two very good friends. This is David, and this is his best friend, Jonathan. A long time ago, these good friends had to say goodbye to each other. It was very hard. They promised to always be friends. And David promised that he would always take care of Jonathan's family. And then they said goodbye. Everybody wave. Bye. Well, later, David became the king, and he remembered his big promise to his best friend, Jonathan, that he would always take care of all of Jonathan's family. David wanted to find Jonathan's family, but it was a very big job because he didn't know where Jonathan's family was. But David knew God made him to do big things. David decided to send lots of people to help him find Jonathan's family. When the people came back, they had found someone from Jonathan's family. It was his son. His name was Mephibosheth. 
He couldn't walk and he needed someone to help him. Well, King David wanted to keep his promise to take care of Jonathan's family. So he had Mephibosheth brought to the castle. He gave him lots of land. He gave him a place to live. He gave him people to help take care of him. And David made sure Mephibosheth always got to eat at the king's table. From that day on, King David took care of Mephibosheth just like he promised his friend Jonathan. How great is that? David did a very big thing and took care of Mephibosheth. God made us to do very big things and help people too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. David helped Mephibosheth, and God made you to help others too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! David did a big thing and helped Jonathan's family. God made us to do big things. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! God made me to help, so I'm going to help my grandma by making some super sandwiches. Whatever the day brings, God made us to do big things. See you later. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6